What's up, Happy Valley Penguins? Today, we're going to do a little Happy Valley Math Minute looking at chi-square analysis. So there's a certain mutation found in fruit flies and it's thought to be autosomal recessive. There's an experimenter that crossed two different flies that they think are heterozygous. There's 80 wild type males, 65 wild type females, 26 mutant males, and 40 mutant females. And we want to test is the uh, null hypothesis that the mutation is autosomal. So since we don't really care about the sex of them, we're going to add together the males and the females. So there's 80 wild type males and 65 wild type females. So that gives us 145 wild type flies. We'll do the same thing with our mutant flies. So 26 male mutants plus the 40 uh, female mutants gives us 66 mutant flies. So whenever I do chi-square, I always set up this little chart. So we put our phenotypes, so wild type and our mutants. We can see from this that we observed 145 that were wild type. And then there are 66 that are mutant. So then we need to look and say, okay, well, they're heterozygous parents. So what would I expect? So we're going to do a Punnett square uh, between two different individuals that are heterozygous. So we're going to, I'm just going to use A just for easy peasy. Um, so we're going to see that three-fourths of them are going to be wild type. And then one-fourth of them are going to be mutants. So we need to first figure out, well, what is the total number of flies that I had? So in total, I had 211. So I'm going to multiply 211 by 75% or 0.75 to find that I have 158.25 that are expected to be wild type. And I'll do the same thing times 25% to get the 52.75 that I expect to be mutant. I'll take my observed minus I expected. I do the observed minus expected squared. And then I'm going to do the observed minus expected squared over the expected. And that's going to give me my final value. I'm going to add those together to get the summation. Um, for my chi-square calculated value, and that's 4.437. And then, of course, I'm going to round it to the hundredth place. So, so that's 4.44. So then we're going to compare that value to our critical value that's in our table. So 3.84 is less than our calculated 4.44, which tells us that we're going to reject the null hypothesis, which means that it is not autosomal recessive. I hope this was helpful. Remember, EPIO Penguins just assessed.